you know, like really, oh, you can see like this hair flying around. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, then welcome. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create transfer proof foundation. This foundation will literally stay intact no matter what. So even if you're wearing a mask, when you decide to take that mask off, you're not gonna be left with those nasty lines across your face. So without wasting any more time, let's head into the video. But before I forget, please do give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my videos. You can also catch me on Instagram where you can follow my stories for daily beauty news and PR unboxing. Let's head straight into the video. So I have nothing on my face. I'm gonna go straight in with skincare because that also does play a big role in whether your foundation is gonna be transfer proof. Now, I don't use this routine or these products on a daily basis, but I use this whole routine if I know I'm gonna to have to be out most of the day and I'm gonna be wearing my mask most of the day because when I take it off, I don't really wanna be left with kind of marks, which can happen and it's horrible. So I'm gonna start off with my first product. I'm, product. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light. As you know, in other videos, I use the normal magic cream all the time, I love it. When you wanna create a transfer proof base, you wanna make sure that your skincare is not overly heavy. So I like to keep it quite light. So I'm using the light version. Next up, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer. I had to say that a few times because I couldn't get it right. Now, what I really, really love about this primer is that it is SPF 50. I just do not use anything other than SPF 50 because anything lower, that, lower than that just isn't gonna cut it for my skin. So I am so happy that she's come out with something which is SPF 50 because everything else is like SPF 10, SPF 35, and it just doesn't do anything for me. So I'm gonna use this all over my skin. Okay, I'm just smoothing this all over. Next up, I'm gonna start with my base. Now the first thing I always do is obviously my eyelids. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer and I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in medium. Just gonna buff this in. Now all I'm doing is using my Beauty Blender and just tapping constantly until it all kind of like blends in gives a nice smooth finish, an even finish, and you can't see any kind of like sponge marks. Next up, I'm gonna use, and I'm, I'm looking down on purpose because I don't want those creases to set in into my socket line. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Easy Bake. I'm choosing a powder puff to just press this in. You can use any powder puff. I'm using the Laura Mercier powder puff. Okay, now, Usually I would brush that away. When I know I want transfer proof makeup, I really kind of like press it in. So I'm just gonna keep pressing it in until that powder is kind of like disappeared or I can't see it. So while I've done my eyelids, my skincare has had enough time to kind of like really sink in. And as you can see, slowly, initially it was quite shiny and now slowly, slowly, slowly it's become a bit more kind of matte and it's just got a very slight shine to it, but that's kind of like just the tackiness that you can see. So next up, I'm gonna use my concealer and I'm gonna use this, the same concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape. It is one of the best concealers if you want transfer proof makeup. I use it on a day-to-day -day basis anyway, but I just alternate between different ones. So today I'm gonna use this, and it's the Double Duty Shape Tape Concealer, and this shade is medium, the same shade that I used on my eyelids. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just, I know this is really small, I've kind of run out of my Shape Tape, and I had this like trial size, version so i need to get hold of a full size one yeah i'm just gonna apply this now i'm gonna apply this along here now it's up to you how much of this you apply this is how much i like applying but it also just depends on what what, what the rest of your makeup is going to be like. That is how much I'm putting on because that's how much is going to suit the kind of makeup that I'm doing today. Now I'm using another concealer. Now this isn't really that much for my coverage to be honest because the foundation I'm going to use and this concealer that I've already used does all of that for me. Now this concealer is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly and it's 
quite light, it's quite white to be honest, so you can see it's got nothing to do with coverage for me. But what it does do, it just helps to kind of brighten up a few areas. So I'm gonna just, it kind of comes through, you know, through the foundation a little bit. Not a lot, but it's enough where, and you can see I'm just doing really, really small amounts here. So that's what I mean by the smallest amount. It's got nothing to do with coverage. So now what I wanna do is I just wanna kind of buff that in. I'm gonna use my same beauty blender that I used on my eyelids. And first thing I'm gonna do is do my under eyes because then I can go over the other areas. So I'm gonna let that kind of like semi set for a little bit. So now I'm just gonna buff this in. I'm gonna kind of mix in this nostril area where I've applied the Rebright shade. And as you can see, I'm tapping, but they're really short movements. It's not like I'm tapping and going to a different area. I'm kind of like keeping it quite fluid and consistent. That under eye is done. So let's get, go over to this. I'm just gonna go in with some contour because I just wanna sculpt my face before I put my foundation on. So I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. And this is in tan 46, which is just such a nice color. So I'm just doing a really short amount there, short, really small amount there. And I'm just gonna do my nose. So I've done it pretty quick because honestly, it shouldn't really take you that long. So you can see a short, what's wrong with me? A small amount there, a small amount there. I think what I'm trying to say is it's short, you know, there's not a lot. Usually I make it a lot longer. And I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush for this. So all I'm doing is using the larger part of the brush. And again, I'm kind of like patting it. I want to keep the shape pretty similar. Now I know it's naturally going to get slightly bigger, but do you see that's why we make that initial application so small because it's going to spread when you start blending. Okay, so we've done that side. So again on this side. Now this bit goes into the hairline, but you wanna keep it in that same place. And then the nose, that little V shape there helps to just make my bulbous tip of my nose look a little bit smaller. And then this is just defining the bridge of my nose. Okay, with that done, we can go in with our foundation now. So the foundation that I'm gonna use is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. Now I know there have been mixed reviews about this foundation. I myself find it is way too heavy for everyday use for me. That's just me. And I know a lot of people have said that. Some people have said that they don't like the fragrance, although that was the old version of her foundation. This new one doesn't have that kind of smell to it. And some people have found that it's just way too heavy for them or it's too thick or they, it looks too cakey on them. I personally really like this foundation, but it is still a little bit too heavy for me for everyday wear. But saying that, it is the best foundation for transfer-proof makeup, without a doubt. I've tried quite a few. I mean, come on, look, we've been wearing masks for quite a while now, and you know, it gives you a chance to try it. Well, you have to try it different foundations because you need to find the one that works and doesn't kind of like budge. And this is the foundation that always works for me. So as much as, you know, for a daily, everyday makeup, it might be a bit too much for me. Sometimes what I've done is I've mixed it in with a pump of my um, moisturizer because that just kind of like really loosens it up a bit so it's not so thick. So try that as well. But anyway, I'm gonna use this and my shade is Baklava. So I've got the foundation on the back of my hand and all I'm doing is just getting my beauty blender and I'm gonna start buffing this in. So I'm buffing it into the back of my hand first and then I'm starting on my face. Now usually you would see in other videos that I would use the um, a lot more concealer on the rest of my face. So I normally put the same amount on my under eye area but I usually put a lot more on other areas of my face like along here and I only use the brightening one today. That's because this foundation has really great coverage so I don't really feel like I need to use that much concealer in other areas. So I'm just taking this along the under eye.
Now I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder again, and I really like this powder. I think it's really, really good for just making your foundation like stay in place. And also the color is good. I'm using banana bread because it's not overly yellow either. Now I'm gonna go back to my powder puff, and this is really important. You've gotta make sure there are no creases. I'm just lifting really hard for me to talk while I'm doing this bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. That was the most important part for me just at the moment because if you laugh or you kind of have some facial expressions before you've set your under eyes, you're gonna get the creasing and that's where you see all that foundation sitting in all those lines. And then if you go in with your powder, basically you're just making it look worse. So you've gotta make sure there are no creases there before you actually put the powder on. So that's why I did that first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like keep pressing it in add some more powder, go to this side. What's really important is that you keep pressing it. And we're gonna go around to the other areas of the face because by pressing it, really kind of like mattifying your skin. Let's be honest, if you know, you guys are not, you're not stupid, right? You know that if you have something which is kind of slightly wetty on the skin, uh, like, anything tacky and then you put your mask over it or you put anything on top it's going to stick to it if your skin is matte then you know you're not going to have that so this is what we're doing we're really kind of like can you see slowly the powder is disappearing into the skin because we're really pressing it in and this is going to just last all day and also make it completely transfer proof okay so we have pressed that powder in everywhere i'm just going to get my uh makeup forever 122 brush nothing on this brush very lightly just gonna dust the excess away so you've seen how we just dusted off all that excess with that big stipple brush from makeup forever you can use any kind of stipple brush to be honest as long as it's pretty soft on the ends like it's not like too kind of hard like you know like really oh see like this hair flying around um, as long as it's not like a synthetic brush that kind of really is quite hard on your skin you want something quite soft like this is quite soft so it doesn't kind of distort or ruin any of the makeup so you want to make sure you use a really soft brush something which is large enough to just dust off the powder yet not grab hold of anything on your face now i always tell my clients this as well once you've done your base like this it can look a little bit matte a little bit too powdery initially and obviously at the moment i don't have anything else on so it's all looking a little bit scary but you've probably seen in the intro and you will see on the next clip that with everything done you can see how the whole foundation, like the whole look comes together. Now, my main thing is transfer proof foundation and that's why I just wanted to stick to the foundation for this video, to just make it really easy. So everything else that you put on, is just a bonus just to enhance different features. So give your skin about half an hour to settle down a little bit, which you'll see on the next video anyway, on the next clip, but you need to give it about half an hour for it to settle down. So what happens is over that half an hour, your natural oils in your skin start to come through. So at the moment, we really packed on that powder and really pressed it into the skin to keep everything in place. That powder has basically locked everything in. Now, because we got all that nice coverage, so now we've just locked it in with that powder, with the powder puff. It is really important that you use a nice powder puff for this. You don't want to use kind of like a sponge or anything. You want to use an actual powder puff because that powder puff grabs hold of the powder and really presses it into the skin without ruining the foundation or concealer that you've put on. So, yeah, you can see on the next clip what this whole look ends up looking like. So there you go. Now that I've got everything on, you can see how it looks. It doesn't look excessive i don't think so anyway and i feel like it's something that you guys are going to love because your foundation is going to stay in place now if you do have any questions then please do let me know in the comments below because i always answer you can also find the products in my description box and all you need to do is click on the links and it will take you straight to it so as always if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my videos until the next video take care and i'll see you soon